Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pines at the Premier Productivity Expert. And tonight I'm answering a good friend of mine, uh, Brian Dunn's question. And uh, my friend Brian, he coaches uh, lacrosse. And he was talking to his players about how if they want to be successful in lacrosse, they have to sacrifice. And he was asking me about that and how it translates to pre-med and different things. And I want to say across the board, in anything you want to do in life, whether it's even having, even having a significant other, right? If you want to have a boyfriend, girlfriend, it's about sacrifice. If you want to be successful in anything, you have to sacrifice. There's always an opportunity cost, right? The trade-off. To get something, you have to give something. And in the case of really high-level things, right? So if you want to be an amazing Division I lacrosse player, you have to choose what you're willing to sacrifice. And oftentimes, the reason people are not successful in whatever their chosen field is, it's because they have not made the decision that it's worth it to them, that they want it bad enough to be successful, that they're willing to make the necessary sacrifices. And in, like I said, everything requires sacrifice, just how you want to sacrifice. And in terms of doing a sport, right, what are the things that you have to sacrifice? You have to sacrifice junk food which is delicious, right? That's why I'm not an athlete right now. That's why I'm not in the Olympics because I'm not willing to sacrifice my junk food, right? You have to sacrifice, right, feeling good all the time because sometimes you have to go and be in the gym and be, ah, it hurts so bad, but you got to push through that, right? You got to train. I think I read an article recently about Michael Phelps. He trains six hours a day, six days a week, right? <laughs> I don't even sleep six hours a day, six days a week, that's a lot of training, and that's what it takes to be at that level if you want to be a gold medalist or if you want to be whatever, right? So you have to decide if you want to make that sacrifice. In terms of pre-med, it's the same thing. Getting to medical school is easy. Not really, right? It's hard. <laughs> but what makes it hard and makes it complicated is being willing to do the things that others are not willing to do. Because the people who get to medical school are the people who right, are studying sometimes late at night. It's the people who stay after class and ask questions when they have questions. It's the people who go to office hours when they need clarification. It's the people who go to extra tutoring when they're struggling. It's the people who won't close the book confused, right? They stay up and they will go over something a thousand times until it's understood. Those are the people. Those are the people who get into medical school. So you have to decide. If you want to be successful, whatever it is in life, guys, it's all sacrifice. You see doctors. You see celebrities. You see... And I pick on Kim Kardashian a lot because she's, everybody knows Kardashian, right? It's crazy. It's The brand is everywhere. And people say Kim Kardashian is a porn star who got famous, but even that's a sacrifice, right? I would want to have my naked body all over the place and everybody looking at it, and that make me feel <laughs> crazy, right, and uncomfortable. So that's a sacrifice. She said, you know what? I'm willing to put myself out there and degrade myself to get famous, right? You look at all these people on Instagram. makes me sick. All these half-naked women. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> No, but really, it is terrible. It's awful. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not willing to put my bare butt cheeks on Instagram to get famous. It's just not what I'm interested in. <laughs> but people are willing to do it. They're willing to sacrifice and do those types of things. And whatever you want to be successful at, there's always sacrifice. These actors that you talk about that make millions and millions of dollars, these, these musicians. And I don't know about you, I just fell back into Eminem recently, the rapper, his first album, that Slim Shady LP, is insanely good. But when you look at these musicians and you say, oh, Britney Spears is talentless. She's awful. Do you know how much she's had to sacrifice for her career from an early age, right? Doing different acting, different singing, all these things. And she may be an awful singer and she may be a subpar dancer. But if she is so bad, why are other people not in her position? Because she was able to sacrifice and get, a, get an opportunity. And she was ready when the opportunity hit and she went big. So if you want to get good in your industry, you have to be able to sacrifice. It has to be a conscious decision. You have to say, okay, what can I give up to get my dream? That's what it's about. And if you're willing to give it up, you can get where you want to go. But if you're not, you're never going to reach your full potential and get where you want to go. It's just not going to happen. You're not going to put the reps in. You're not going to put the time in. You're not going to put the effort in that's required to be great. Because to be great, right, by definition, it's above average, right? You're great. But if you're doing exactly what everyone else is doing, right, if you're giving up exactly what everyone else is willing to give up, you're only going to be average. You have to go above and beyond. In my case, I've missed close family members, friends, weddings. I've missed vacation trips. 
I like my circle has shrunk and shrunk and shrunk as I move through medicine because I simply don't have time to spend doing all these other things that other people do because I know that I have to give up things to get where I want to go. And giving up all those things got me to Stanford Medical School, got me into UCSD anesthesia. That's what you have to decide. If you want to go to Division One, if you want to go to a great medical school, you've got to embrace sacrifice. Look for ways to give of yourself to get better. It's a conscious decision, guys. It's not by accident. Successful people sacrifice. So, Brian, this one goes out to you and to everybody else. I hope you learned something from this. Um, sacrifice is the key. Have a good night.